In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zulip. So for those of you who don't know what Zulip is, I'll quickly give you a brief introduction with the key features and then move on to the hands-on tutorial. So I've given the timestamps in the description and you can navigate through the video using that. So let's get started. So first, what is Zulip? Zulip is an app where you can have conversations with your colleagues at work or teammates in school and it's similar to Slack. So just like in Slack, how you have channels, in Zulip, you have streams. But Zulip, it has a few features which really differentiate it from Slack. And because of them, I personally prefer Zulip over Slack. So I'll quickly tell you about the features. Firstly, Zulip is the perfect mix of a real-time chat and an asynchronous email. So it's actually combined both of them into the app. So it's the first thing which they've mentioned on their website. They've said that you can catch up on important conversations while ignoring irrelevant ones. So the way they do this is using threading. And this is the biggest difference between Slack and Zulip. So here, as you can see in Zulip, under each stream, you can have different topics. And this is something that you won't find in other team chats. And this is honestly something that's really useful because it organizes all of the messages into these topics. So let's say you open Zulip after a few hours and you have 50 unread messages. Normally, you just ignore all the important ones because there are too many. But here, because of the topics, it becomes much easier to find the important ones. And I'll show you more of how this works when I actually go to Zulip. So this is an example of what I was saying. The messages in Zulip, they'll still have context even though they've been sent after many hours. So this is pretty much how Zulip works. And I think the best way for you to get a hang of how it works is by actually going to Zulip. So the first thing you'll have to do is go to your browser and then go to zulip.com. So for now, I'll show you the web version of Zulip. But if you want to download it, they have options for that as well. Just click on download. And as you can see, you can download Zulip on all of these platforms. But now I'll go back to the web version and show you how it works. So the first thing you have to do is create your account and organization if it isn't already created. So you'll find new organization written on the top right over here. So just click on it. After that, you'll have to enter the organization name. Then just select the type. After that, you can enter a custom URL that you want. And then just enter your email ID over here. And click on create organization. After that, they'll send you a mail, which you'll just have to approve. As you can see, I've received the mail from Zulip. And to complete registration, just click on this. Here, you'll have to enter your full name. And then enter your password. Then, just select this box, which agrees to the terms and conditions. And click on Sign Up. So this is the Zulip dashboard, and I'll show you around. So in the center of the page, you have the chat and at the bottom, you can type in all of the messages. After that, on the left, you have a few options. After that, on the right, you can see all of the users and which ones are active. And then on the left, you have some options, which I'll show you now. So first, you have streams, which you'll find over here. Currently, they have two streams. And if I click on them, then you can see the topics under each stream. So under the stream general, they have two topics. And this was what I was talking about. So currently, I'm on general, and I can see these two messages. But each of them are with different topics. And if I just want to see messages from one topic, so let's say swimming turtles. If I click on it, then I'll only see messages related to this topic. After that, you'll see your direct messages over here. And then on top, you have some more ways to see the messages. So the first option is to see all the messages. So here I can see the messages of all of the streams which I'm in. And they also have more ways to search for messages by clicking on search on top over here. And these are all of the different ways. After that, I can see my recent conversations by clicking on the second option. So here they organize the conversations according to the stream, topic, participants, and time. And they've also given many filters on top. 
So this is a Zulip dashboard. So now I'll show you the different things that you can do. And first, it's creating a stream. So to create one, just click on the plus button that's over here and then click on create a stream. So here you have different options like creating a stream name. After that, you can type in a description below. Then you can decide who all can access the stream. First is public, where a person can read the history. Then is private, where a new subscriber can read the history. And the third option is private protected history, where the new subscriber can't see the old messages. Then you can decide who all can post to the stream. So you have these options. Then who all can unsubscribe. And after that, you can add subscribers to the stream. So if you want to add them in bulk, all from one stream, then you can just type in hashtag the stream name and click on add. And you'll find their names getting added to subscribers over here. And once you're done, just click on create. And now, as you can see, under streams, no name has come here. So if I click on it, then here I can start typing messages and adding topics. So to enter a message, at the bottom, I can just click here and type in the message that I want to and send it. And as you can see, it's been sent over here. Then if I want to add a topic, here you'll find an option called new topic. So just click on it. Then I have to enter the topic name. So I call it meeting and here I can type in the message and this will come in the topic meeting. Then at the bottom, you have all different formatting options, which you can go through and then click on send. And now, as you can see under no name in the topic of meeting, this message has come here. After that, for each stream, you have a few options. So if you click on the three dots over here, then you can go through the stream settings on top and here you can control the permissions. After that, you can pin the stream to the top unsubscribe if you want, you have all of these options over here. Then if you want to invite more users to your organization, then just click on invite more users that's on the right over here. Then you can start typing in their email addresses over here. So type in all of the email addresses and separate them with commas. After that, you can decide when the invitation ends. So these are the number of days after which it ends. Then you can decide that people who join with this link, if they'll be members or moderators, or you have more options over here. And after that, you can select which stream you want them to subscribe to and then click on invite. And now an invitation has been sent to them. Now there's only one setting which is important and that's notifications. So to go there, just click on the settings icon on the top right over here. After that, click on personal settings and here click on notifications. So here you can decide what type of messages you want to receive notifications for and you can change it based on the device by selecting these boxes over here. Then you can change the notification sound and then you have more options over here. So this is basically how Zulip works and here you can see the different plans and the pricing. So I hope this video helped you. Goodbye.